are brought down. The valleys that are exalted. I can teach, I can preach all those for them. I mean, they're, they're phenomenal stuff. Amen. Cricket places are made straight. Rough places are made plain. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. That's the whole goal. You're going to have an open manifestation that's going to come forth out of preparation. If you don't prepare, you don't put yourself in a position, you don't realign your thinking, it won't be an open manifestation. In other words, you won't get what God has planned for you. Mm -hmm. Then the thief will come and take it all from you. And I know we think, y'all know better than that here. <laughs> Who's the thief? Come on now. Don't say who? Oh, come on, y'all. Y'all messing me up. Who the thief is? We've been taught it here. Okay, write it down. Write it down. Y'all, shame on y'all. Who's the thief? Come on, who said it? Religion. Ain't the devil. It ain't the devil. It's religion. Jesus, I thought we'd have had that figured out by now. Y'all, I'm kind of scared, dog. That's what we do. <laughs> and then when somebody else said, we're like, yeah! Go to John. Y'all don't believe me. Come on. Now, if I show you over here, then maybe you can believe me. I, I done showed this house umpteen times. We should know it frontwards and backwards, but I, I guess we just got milk and magnesium this morning. And it was pretty warm out. John 10. John 10. If I show it to you when you believe it, I'm not going to manifest you any thought that's not already written. I'm going to highlight it. Can I highlight the scriptures? Yeah. They have hoodwinked us and blinded us. Told us certain things. This is the reason why we don't have open manifestations because we've been taught incorrectly. Yeah. We still got crooked places. Yeah. The crooked places need to be made straight. We got to. Now I'm getting ready to straighten out one of your crooked places. <laughs> Now, first of all, you got to understand that this is one discourse. In John 9, the first chapter, I mean, the last part of John 9, he's talking to him about uh, judgment, being blind. Remember in the ninth chapter, they were trying to figure out how this man got healed. He's addressing the religious system. Now, look at this is what happened to the man. Let's go to 9 and 35 so I can help everybody out. And get this John 9 and 35. John 9 35. 35. Okay, I got you. Jesus heard that they had cast him out. Uh, okay. Y'all let me know when you're back there. When he had... Oh, there we go. When Je Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Do and thou believe on the Son of God? This is one discourse from what happened to a guy that got healed in the pool. Uh, Salome. And they were trying to figure out you know, how did you get healed? You had to read it on your own time. But this is it's a continuation to John 10, okay? I know we got headings and all that stuff. It's the, it helps us out. But in the original letters, we'll see it. Do it thou believe on the Son of God, verse 36? Yes. He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I may believe on him? Yes. And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. Yes. And he said, Lord... I believe. And he worshipped him. Next. And Jesus said, For judgment I came into the world, that they which see not, what? Might see. And they which see might be made, made blind. Remember you call them blind leaders? John the Baptist called them blind leaders. He's talking about the Sanhedrin. He's talking about the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The whole religious system at the time were blind. He's talking to them. Right? Verse next. <laughs> and some of the Pharisees which were with him, heard these words and said to them, Are we blind also? Are you talking to me? Next. And Jesus said to him, If you were blind, you would have no sin. But now you say, We see. Therefore, your sin remained. What was the sin? Not knowing him. Got it? Okay. Now he's talking to who? The religious system. Boy, y'all. Yeah, I got like 90% of the church is just, well, we've got a loud silence. <laughs> okay, next, next, uh, next chapter. Now he's not done. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto what? You. Who's the you? 
Come on, y'all. We it's the same thing. The religious system, right? He said, verily, he said, truly, truly. So whenever he say verily, verily, you don't you want to pay attention. Mm -hmm. We call it double denunciation, which means this is important. I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as what? Please underline it. Never underline it in your Bible, because I'm about to wreck your world. But but climbeth up what? Some other way. Who is he talking to? We're still talking about religious system, right? He said, you rascals trying to come up another way. But you're blind. That's why you can't come up because you your sin remains because you won't acknowledge me. And he called them, what? A thief and a robber. Who is he talking to? See, we're growing now. <laughs> Next. Two. But he that entered in by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. Who's the door? Jesus. Three. To him the porter opened it. That's what I am, a porter. Mm -hmm. And the sheep hear his voice. And he called it his own sheep by name.